In this video, we're going to be looking at the solution to question uh, 10b part 1. Here it states, the diagram below, not drawn to scale, shows the position of three points, A, B, and C, on a horizontal plane. AB is equal to 174 meters, BC is equal to 65 meters, and AC is equal to 226 meters. And here we have the diagram, okay? AB, A to B is equal to the 174 meters, um, B to C is equal to the 65 meters, and AC is equal to 226 meters. Now here they're asking us to calculate A, the measure of angle ABC, and that's an easy two marks. Now, my friends, uh, this drawing, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Here they have given us a triangle, okay, and they have given us the three sides uh, on the triangle. Now, basically, if they're asking us to calculate the measure of angle ABC, remember that the letter B is in the middle, and let me just highlight that for you here. The letter B is in the middle, so it's suggesting that the angle that they're asking us to find would be located at the point B, okay, my friends? And here, I am marking that angle for you so you can see clearly, okay? Now, they're asking us to find this angle. Now, remember, when given the when given three sides of a triangle and you're asked to find an angle, we can use the cosine rule to find that angle. And usually, usually these uh, formulas are given on the CXE paper on the front page. Okay, so if you're if you're not sure in the exam, you could always go back and visit the front page. Now here we have our cosine rule. Here it states a square. Okay, my friends, is equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc the cos of a and now remember the cos is the angle that we're trying to find okay however um we're going to have to manipulate the formula little formula here because if you should notice as we have suggested they're asking us to find the angle at b okay so whichever angle that they're asking us to find we're going to be taking the cos of that angle okay and the common letter of that angle should be out should be the subject there okay so by by just um, by just uh, manipulating this formula we would have b square must be equal to a square plus c square minus 2 ac ac cos b okay since they're asking us to find the angle at B. We're taking the cos of that angle. Now, by substitution, my friends, um, this should be pretty easy. If you notice, the, the this, this side that is across from the angle, if you notice, we have a capital B here, so this side would be common B, okay, my friends? Likewise, if this angle here is A, then the side that is across from A would be common A, okay? just to identify these things so you can follow as we go through, okay? So AB would be the same as little c since c is on the opposite side, the angle c. All right, so let's just quickly substitute. We need little b square. Now, little b square based on our diagram would be 226. So basically what we're saying here is 226 all squared, okay, is equal to a square which is little a and that's 65 65 squared okay plus c square which is 174 so we have 174 squared minus 2 times 65 65 okay times 174 times 174 okay minus well not minus rather we are taking the cos of the angle that we're trying to find which is cos b okay my friends hope you're seeing that we just did some substitution there by saying okay since we just removed the letters and we place the values for those letters okay now basically if you should look, if you should work it out on your calculator 226 okay is multiplying itself two times that's what the square means here so 226 square that would give us 51 thousand fifty one zero seven six zero seven six okay just work it out on your calculator just multiply this by itself two times and you'll get that now 65 square will give us four thousand four thousand two hundred and twenty five okay my friends 
plus uh, 174 squared. So that's saying 174 multiplied by 174, and you should get 30,000. 30,276. 276. Okay? And we are going to have a minus there now. And we're just multiplying negative 2 times 65, multiply by 174, and we should get a negative 22. 620 620 and we're taking the cost of the angle B okay now pretty much we're just going to simplify this remember now my friends um, here we would have or let's just change the color here we would have or 51 comma 076 is equal to remember we can't subtract here we, we are going to have to add 4,000 225 plus 30,276 and that should give us a total of 34,501 okay 34,501 okay my friends now here we are going to be subtracting now or 22 22 comma 620 cos cos b okay now pretty much from here Pretty much from here, if you notice what we have here now, we have a 34,506 minus 222, sorry, minus 22,620 multiplied by cos B. So remember now, we can't subtract these two figures because the 22,620 is multiplying the B. So this would be classified as one thing by itself. This is, this is a product, okay? So before we can do that, we are going to have to make, we are, we are trying to make B the subject, okay, my friends? So basically, we are going to have to take this across, okay? Take the 34,501 across. So we are going to have to subtract it from both sides. So here I'm going to say 51076 minus, since I'm taking this o across, it's positive here, so when it comes over, it should be negative, 34,501, and that must be equal to, and what I do to one side of my equation, I must do it to the other side, so I'm going to say 34,501 minus 34,501, okay, minus now, minus what we have here, minus, 22,620 cos B. Okay, hope you're seeing that. Cos B. And let me just pull this over a bit. So there we go, my friends. Now what we have here, we have 34,501. We'll cancel out with a 34,501. And here we have 51,076 minus 34,000. Uh, 501 and that will leave us with 16 16,575 okay and I'm just walking you through now this must be equal to my friends what we have left over here is the negative 22,000 comma 620 okay cos cos b okay so basically what we have here now guys we're simply saying now that we need, if you notice, the negative 22,620 that's here, it's multiplying cos B. So we need to take that number across. So we're going to have to divide both sides. Remember, what you do to one side, you have to do it to the other. I'm going to divide both sides of my equation by negative 620. Okay, so what I do to one side, I must do it to the other side. So this is negative 22,620. Okay, now that will cancel out with that. Now, this 16,575 divided by negative 22,620, this will leave us with, and if you notice, this, this will give us a negative answer. This is actually negative 0 0.732759. And if you notice what I did, guys, I wrote this to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 decimal places, and the reason why I did that it's just to ensure that it doesn't throw out my final answer too far. When you're not, when you haven't reached your final answers yet, um, use about four to five DPs. Okay, all right. So, so it doesn't mess up your final answer. Okay. So here I have a cos B because if you notice, 
when these two numbers cancel out, we're left with cos B. Now I need to find the angle B, so I'm going to have to divide both sides by cos. Okay, so cos will cancel cos, and remember what you do to one side, you must do to the other side. Okay, now basically I'm going to have to take the cos inverse, but let me just show you a neat little trick before I move along. If you remember when we were doing indices, we said that if a base A raised to a negative index, it is equal to 1 upon the base and the index becomes positive okay so if you notice down here my friends uh, the cost that we have here is to the positive one so obviously it would look like this um, a to the positive m so I'm going to have to take cost up into the numerator so when it comes up the, ne the positive one now will become a negative power okay so I'll have a cost inverse you notice the one becomes negative when it comes up minus the number that we have up the top minus 0 0.732759 okay and that is equal to b okay and that's what we wanted to make the subject b so therefore if you should go on your calculator press shift and then press the cos inverse button um, negative 0 0.732759 you would get B is equal to is really equal to uh, 137 and I'm going to round this off to 1 dp 0.1 degrees okay and that would be your answer and it's pretty much like that my friends um, that's two marks that we have gone already. Now here in part B, they're asking us to find the area of the triangle ABC. So um, pretty quickly, let's just do it right here. Uh, area, area of the triangle. And by area, my friends, we simply mean, and let me just show you quickly what I'm speaking about, by the area. When they speak about the area of a triangle, they're speaking about the enclosed space. So this space here that I'm shading in, okay? That's what they mean by the, by the area, the enclosed space, okay? Being occupied. So all of this region, the shaded region, would be called the area of the triangle. So they're asking us to find uh, that space, okay? Now area, if you notice, we have the three sides of the triangle and they had asked us to find the angle at B. Oops, let me just state our answer um, clearly here. Um, they had asked us to find the angle ABC, so we are going to say now, therefore, angle, angle ABC is equal to 137.1 degrees, okay? So this is our answer, okay? All right, good. Now, if you notice, we found the angle at B. So basically, since we have the angle at B and we have two sides, the 174, B, B, AB, 174 meters, and BC, 65 meters, that forms that angle. Okay, my friends, then we can use uh, the sine formula or the sine rule to find the area of the triangle. So we could simply say area is equal to half AB, AB, sine c okay but remember we found the angle at b which is 137.1 degrees so basically by substitution my friends we can simply say this is equal to the area is equal to a half and we're we're, we're going to take the values of the sides that forms that angle okay so we're going to say half of 174 174 multiplied by 65 by 65 multiplied by sine of the angle that we have found which is the 137.1 okay and this would be equal to half of 174 and then you're going to multiply that by 65 and then you're going you're going to multiply that by the sine of 137.1 okay and you should have gotten 38 38 49 Point four eight, and I'm going to write that to 2 dp meters squared and this would be your answer for the area okay and um, there's another way of finding the area of this triangle I think I may do another video to do that okay because we're already at 14 minutes okay my friends hope that this was useful and see you in the next video bye bye